Welcome to Lesson 5. This is one of my favorite lessons. We, we begin to talk about groups and organizations, um, introducing uh, the concepts between social or, or behind social groups, secondary groups, um, how we as individual members of society tend to conform to our surroundings and the groups that we belong to and want to belong to. We introduce the concept of groupthink when, uh, for example, a uh, really important issue is being discussed at the table and all ten individuals surrounding the table, they're afraid to speak up and actually say what they really believe because uh, that they might perceive that this is not the wishes of the, um, uh, of the leadership of the group or the other group members. So you kind of hold on to your true beliefs and opinions and say nothing, even though you know it, it may be the wrong thing to do. We discuss group size, um, dyads and triads. Um, we begin the, the discussion of social diversity in terms of race, class, and gender. Um, then we get into formal organizations in terms of governmental organizations and organizations that we work through and work in every day, such as educational settings and work settings. We begin to talk about bureaucracy and red tape, how that impacts us individually, and how red tape or bureaucracy is used as social control. Uh, again, we look at some of the problems behind that bureaucracy and, and management processes in terms of differing ways that, that we manage people, uh, and, and especially in the organizational setting, and can we apply scientific uh, methods uh, that we have learned through science and math to the management of individuals. Overall, it's, it's a neat lesson. We will continue with our Class Matters reading, plus a, a nice reading on the organizational man, and, and this fear that uh, was, was incubated in the 1950s and 60s, that organizations and government and bureaucracy was going to take away the individual rights of, of people and of citizens and of workers um, in, in the employment setting. So uh, again, let me know if I can help. Take care.